Hi my loves, welcome back to another video. I feel like that should be my intro. What the hell? I got scared there. Hello? Hello. Yes. That was actually a very important call, so I'm happy I picked that up. So today I'm going to be trying the new Makeup Revolution concealers that just came out. Full coverage, apparently. Um, I picked up four shades, and I'll be giving you my thoughts and opinions throughout this video. I am going to try it and give you swatches as well. And yeah, you'll just have to wait till the end of the video to see what I think of them. I hope you guys will find this helpful and we'll just jump straight into it. Okay, right, I am barefaced. I do have some eyeliner residue, but that's because I filmed earlier on, so please mind that. I did actually pick up four shades. I have the shades C10, C11, C12, and C15. I have them right here. I'm just on the Tan Beauty website, so they are four pounds each. There are 18 shades. I'm just going to read out the description. It says the concealers for everyone. 18 shades ranging from fair to deep in cool, neutral and warm undertones. Lightweight yet full coverage. Concealer to cover blemishes, even skin tone and counteract dark circles with a matte finish that won't settle, accentuate fine lines and pores. Long wearing intense pigment that can also be used to contour and add definition. Our, la our large doe foot applicator allows for smooth application that won't drag or on the delicate skin under your eyes so my opinion on the shade range is i think they did pretty good on their shade range so they have 18 shades they have a lot of um lighter shades like they have a f like at least nine lighter shades for i would say lighter skin tones fair to light skin tones and maybe medium skin tones but then you have literally like three shades for medium skin tones, medium brown, tan skin tones, and you have six shades that could be used for dark to deeper skin tones. So as always, there's always more shades for the lighter skin tones. I feel like this is always an issue though, like medium, I feel like brown skin tones always get, you know, neglected sometimes, and also do deeper, darker shades, but for me, for that middle bit in the shade range, I feel like there's not that many options most of the time. But most of the time, it's not like a full range that is perfect for everyone. Most of the time, there's only like a little bit of darker, deeper skin tones, but then a, a big range of medium skin tones, a medium like tan, like medium tan brown skin tones, and then sometimes there's a few. There's like a lot of darker, deeper skin tone options literally just like three or four shades for the brown um tan skin tone range i don't know if i'm making sense but i just feel like brands neglect the brown people's skin tone range a bit just a little bit you know um I, but i think nevertheless i feel like for makeup revolution who always had products for lighter skin people i feel like they have improved a bit I think they did a good job on 18 shades. I don't even know if Tarte, let me check if Tarte, Tarte has that many shades. I'm on the Tarte website and I literally can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 shades. I think there's 13 to 14 shades in the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So compared to Makeup Revolution, that's a bit better, you know. I have heard though that there are a lot of pinky, reddish undertones or orangey undertones in the concealers themselves. I don't have all of them. I I just bought literally the shades that I thought that were good for brown tan skin tones because obviously my skin tone is like that. Um, but honestly, like when you look at the range, there's like a lot of br uh, lighter skin tones, but and there's a, quite a few like deeper dark skin tones, but only three for brown people. So I don't know. I hope they do improve that because there's so many shades of brown, guys. You know, <laughs> I feel like if I were to make a foundation, I would do my best to have to cater to everyone and make sure that there's an i would say an equal amount of concealer shades for everyone you know not just 15 lighter shades three brown shades and four dark shades it has to be equal you know that's how it will be for me if i made a brand if i made the product you know um but i'm just speaking for myself here i don't know i don't know maybe one day who knows but I'm gonna go ahead and try the concealer themselves I did mention that they were four pounds so it's super affordable super affordable all right so I've just swatched C10 right here 
Can you guys see that? So that's C10. That is C11, which looks much pinkier, I would say, like a more more of a salmon-y colour. So that's C12 right there. So that's C10, 11, 12. Oh my god, I'm so hairy. Um, and this is the size of the doe foot applicator. It's very similar to the tart shaped shape one. And you can see there's a little knob, like a little hole at the tip, so product can go in there and you get more product when you apply it. But yeah, C12 looks like it would be my skin tone. Whilst working on a makeup counter, the issue that I had with darker, deeper skin tones is that there was always so much red in the foundation. Dark, dark people don't always have red, you know? There are neutral undertones and golden undertones for darker, deeper skin tones. So I don't know why people put so much red in d deeper skin foundations and concealers for some reason. I don't know. But to me, this one looks like quite neutrally olivey. This is C10. This one looks like a pinkier salmon one. This is very yellow tone. I will, I think I will like that one. And then this is uh, my contour shade. I just want to swatch them on my face so you guys can see. C10. That's C11. If you are going into count into a store and trying your foundation, this is super helpful when you compare a bunch of colours together on your face. That's C12. I think I will like C12 and I could mix it with C10. That's C15. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in. Can you see that this is like more of like a neutrally colour I would say? This is very yellowy on orangey. This is very pinky salmon-y. I, I don't think I'll really like C11. And that's C15. I do have to say though that the jump from C12 to C13 is big. Like, I feel like they could have done with more shades in between those colours. And the jump between C9 and C10 was quite big as well. So I feel like if this concealer is really good, then they should definitely try and expand the colour range, you know. Okay, so I've just done my uh, brows and I put some foundation on. Um, my mouth area is looking a bit dark for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try C11. I know I'm not going to put C11 under my eyes. Um, because it's a salmon-y colour, I'm going to try and put it around my mouth and then cover with my foundation. And blend that out. It's definitely more on the pinky side. And then I'm just going to take my foundation again. Okay. Okay. Mm. Zoom you guys in. Guys, that did, that did that did really good. I am so picky about products being around my mouth. Can you see how that's made it look so good? The real question is, how will it look by the end of the day? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this on for the rest of the day and update you guys in the info box of what I think. So yeah, I'm really liking that. So now I'm going to go on to C12 under my eyes. I love that noise. That's very similar to my Tarte Shape Tape colour. A bit warmer than my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just going to start with my under eyes first. I'm just going to blend that. I need a close mirror to inspect this. You can see the police coming through.
I'm actually quite shocked. I didn't want to look at people's reviews because I wanted to just have my opinion first. I didn't want other people's thoughts to affect me, even though I'm, it doesn't. But you know, subconsciously, you know, you don't, you never know. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna be watching other people's reviews after I have this video up, guys. That is covering. Can you see my skin? Oh, I'm speechless. I am speechless. I can't believe I bought this for four pounds. I also want to try C10. No, was it C10? Yeah, C10 to see if I can highlight. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this there. And then I'm also going to take C12 again and put that on my lid because I always do that with Tarte Shape Tape. I like it to be a little bit bright underneath, just a little bit, not too much. It's literally as if I'm wearing Tarte Shape Tape, I'm not even joking because I know when a concealer set sits nicely on me, like Tarte Shape Tape. Coverage on this? No. Oh my god. I'm so, so shocked right now. I'm shook. I'm shooketh. Why do people say shooketh? Oh my, oh my, oh. Now we're going to try the con contour, contour. Do you see my skin now, guys? Do you actually see it? Because I am... Um, I'm just going overboard now. blending everything out uh, I'm just so shocked like I just don't even know what to say I'm gonna just take my makeup revolution banana powder lightly set it because I feel like it's so matte I just don't need that much powder brushing off the excess if you could see my skin in real life Right, so I just did a super simple makeup and just put mascara and... Oh, I forgot my lips. Let me put some lipstick. <sighs> Guys, can you all see the skin? I'm just going to zoom you guys in so you can just quickly see up close. The swatches that I had on my hand are so hard to take off, so the fact the concealer definitely sets very well. Um, I'm just very pleased with these. Would I use them? Yes. Um, the, I don't feel like these would even crease on me because they set so well. Look, it's still on my hand. It's not coming off. I don't see how these would crease. The only thing is, I'm just asking myself, like, why is it creasing on my mouth? I normally get well. I get. I normally get along well with the foundation. I use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro performance wear liquid foundation but you just can see guys i'm very happy with it t12 is definitely a good highlight color for me and if i want to brighten a bit more under my eyes i go in with c10 so the ones that i definitely will be using a lot is c10 and c12 i don't think i will be using a c11 much um until i know how this will get along by the end of the day which i will write in the info box and then i feel like 
the C15 was a good contour shade for me, like bronzer contour shade, and it blended really nicely. Are there any cons? Are there any cons, really? The only con for me is this stupid ugly barcode on the lid. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> the packaging's really nice, the doe fit applicator's really nice. Can you see that little bit in the sofa applicator like it kind of collects a little a bit of product there and I feel like it gets the product in there whilst with the um, tart shape tape sometimes I feel like once I start running out like it kind of like I have to put in my doe foot applicator a few times into the bowl to get product out what else I mean the packaging is really cute it's very convenient you've got the shade on the bottom is it full coverage yes Hell yes, it's full coverage. Um, does it make you dry or flaky? No, my nose is my worst area and even though I put concealer on my nose, it didn't crease or flake or go like the Sahara Desert. Really nicely around my mouth, surprisingly, and that's the worst area where product goes funny on my face. And it's, it's giving slightly like small smile lines that could be because of the foundation or mixing it with the foundation. But overall, it is sitting very nicely around my mouth and it did cover pretty well, I would say. I would actually think this is Tarte Shape Tape on my face. So I'm very pleased. The price is really good. So it's definitely affordable. It's got full coverage. There's a good shade range. Good applicator. It's got good packaging. Blends like a dream. It sets. What else can you ask for for four pounds? Like, literally. The only downside to me is the lack of shades for us brown tan skin people so hopefully they do improve in that because the, the, there's been so much talk about these concealers so I, hopefully they do see that the, these are going to do really well and that they will improve it 9 out of 10 that's what I'm going to give it it's really really good I absolutely love it again I will definitely keep you up to date in the info box if you have any questions make sure to ask me in the comments below I try to answer everyone um, thank you so much for watching and um, if there's any other products that you guys want me to try let me know as well I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time bye